All right, y'all, so I know everybody makes the best mac and cheese, but the specific blend of cheeses is mwah, chef's kiss, so let's get into it. We're gonna start by seasoning our water with one cube of chicken bouillon. Then we are gonna go ahead and get started on these cheeses, cause you know that is the longest, hardest part, okay? Don't nobody like shred cheese. So we're gonna do 16 ounces of medium cheddar, 16 ounces of Kobe Jack, eight ounces of extra sharp cheddar and seven ounces of smoked gouda as you can see my baby she is um the next master chef junior so i am getting her in the kitchen nice and early okay um she does like cheese so she really be trying to eat it all but she got it all shredded we are going to add one full bag of noodles into our seasoned boiling water and get started on our sauce so I went in with about two tablespoons of butter, about two to three tablespoons of softened cream cheese, and I think that was 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream. And we are going to whisk, whisk, whisk. I cannot find my whisk, so that is actually like a beater, <laughs> like a little um, cake beater. Um, then we are going to start adding in our cheeses. So as you add them in, go ahead and get them all stirred up because you don't just want one big clump of cheese. Um, I like mine with a little slip. Um, so I like mine at this consistency where it's a little bit runny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning it with about a tablespoon of onion powder, a little yeah, of uh, Creole seasoning, just cause I like my mac and cheese nice and seasoned, okay? Y'all could just do salt and pepper, but we, we jazzing it up over here. Um, I drank my noodles once those were ready um, and I went in with a little bit of pepper, about a tablespoon of butter because butter makes everything more rich and decadent so why not um and then I added in my cheese sauce once that was added in I gave it a good mix to make sure that cheese sauce um, got all over all over the noodles and this is the fun part we are going to start layering it because I like oozy goozy cheese all throughout my mac and cheese and as you can see those little hands my daughter is back in the kitchen preparing herself for master chef juniors so we are going to layer it one by one um, mac and cheese cheese mac and cheese cheese um, so it's just nice and ooey gooey because like duh who don't like the mac and cheese like that um, then sis went in with a little bit of smoked paprika, but she got a heavy hand, so I had to direct her a little bit. But that's just a, for a little bit of color, and honestly, smoked paprika adds a lot of flavor. Um, and then we just diced up some little butter and put it on top. We put it in our 400 degree oven, set a timer for 30 minutes, and when it came out, it looked like this. And it was so good, y'all. It was so good. Please give it a try and let me know how you like it in the comments.